Hello, my dear student. I welcome you all to the maths class. So, in our previous class, we have completed chapter number one. So, from today onwards, we are going to start exercise of chapter number two. As the introduction part, I have shared with you all. I hope you have gone through it. The concept of the thing that is in the chapter is understandable. It is clear to you all, right? So, let's start with the help of that. So, let's start solving. Question number one of exercise two point one. So here we have the question number one from exercise two point one, which is in page number thirty one of your maths NCERT. So it states that write the next three natural numbers after one zero nine nine nine. Okay, so after ten thousand nine hundred and ninety nine, you have to write three natural numbers. So the concept of the natural numbers. and the uh, whole number is i hope clear to you all so in order to find the next three natural number what we have to do we have to add one by one we have to add one after another that is one number should be added to each so first of all one should be added that is the successor right one plus means it is successor of the number so 9 plus 1 is 10 here one 9 plus 1 is again 10. 1 again. 9 plus 1 is 10. 1 again. 1 plus 0 is 1 and 1. So what comes after 1000? 10,999. The number that uh, so the you will write the next three natural numbers after what are the what what is the number? The number is 10,999. So what are the three natural numbers that we have to write? So this is the first natural numbers after ten thousand nine hundred and ninety nine. That is eleven thousand. Okay. So now they have asked us to find the three natural numbers. We got one. Now extra two is required. So I am erasing this. So now what we have to do is we have to add one. Add one over here. So one thousand eleven thousand plus one. Will be one plus zero is one. Now zero, zero, one, one. So what comes after this? The next number that comes after this is eleven thousand one. So next, so this is the first natural number. This is the second natural number after ten thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Remember, okay? So and here again after uh, after one eleven thousand one, one you have to add two zero zero one. So this is basically nothing but a counting. so so comma may be a problem so i'm removing comma from here okay so one here and one okay so it is 11000 11001 and 11003 are the three natural numbers after 10999 so this is nothing but a counting so 900 after 999 what comes 10000 Uh, sorry, thousand. After ten, uh, thousand, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three. So this is a natural number. So natural number basically starts from one till infinity. I hope you have, uh, you remember this, right? So we have already done in the live class also discussed about natural numbers and whole numbers. Now this is the question number one of exercise two point one. This is over. So we will be solving in this session question number one to four. Okay, from question number one to four, we will be solving in this session. Okay, so let's proceed to the question number two. Question number two states that write the three whole numbers occurring just before, occurring just before one thousand ten thousand one. So we have to write the whole numbers. Okay, that comes just before. Again, here we have to find the three whole numbers before this. so it's very simple here in the previous question here we have added one but in this question we will subtract one and we will get three uh, whole numbers uh, before this number okay so 10001 so let me write the statement first the three whole numbers occurring Occurring just just before one zero 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 one are 
so what i have told you i have i have told you to subtract 1 right so 1 0 0 sorry 0 0 it is 10001 minus 1 we have to do now 1 minus 1 is 0 0 0 it is 10000 isn't it so the first net the first natural or whole number that comes before 10001 is 10000 10000 now after that what comes here again 1 you have to subtract it yes so 10 min uh, 0 minus 1 is not possible so you have to borrow 1 from the uh, 1 so 10 minus 1 is 9 9 here 9 here so it is 9999 9999 isn't it so uh, before 9999 what comes it comes 9998 9988 so these are the three natural these are the three whole numbers that comes just before before 10001 isn't it so i hope you have understood this part the three whole numbers that occurs just before 10001 are 10000 9999 and 9998 so whenever you are asked to find the before part okay the earlier number that is predecessor we will apply that is minus 1 yes minus 1 we will do but whenever you get after the next three then we will plus it with one value okay so, so this is understandable i hope so let's proceed to question number three <coughs> question number three state that which is the smallest whole number so in a number line i have told many many a time i have told you we will start uh, whenever we are counting whole number whenever we are saying whole number whole numbers always start from zero isn't it the whole number always start from zero then comes one two three whenever you count from one that becomes your uh, counting number or natural number n n right and whenever we are starting with zero then it is considered as whole number w right so of course before zero there is negative number and negative numbers are negative numbers are not neither natural number nor whole number so they are just an integer right so the smallest whole number will be zero so the answer is zero so you may write in the statement that the let me raise this part the smallest whole number the smallest whole number is zero z e r o zero i hope you have understood why it is zero as because whenever we uh, start saying uh, what is the whole number then we give the example of zero the smallest whole number is zero then comes one two three one is also whole natural number okay okay so proceeding to the question number four we have this is this will be the last question for our uh, today's session uh, how many whole numbers are there between 32 and 53 so how many whole numbers are there between 32 and 53 so let's start writing like this the whole the whole numbers between 32 and and 53 so the what are the whole numbers that we have to find and we have to write how many are there so after 32 what comes 33 34 35 36 36 37 then comes 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 so we will not write 32 and 53 as because they have asked us to find in between how many uh, whole numbers are there so they have not said from starting from 32 they have said in between 32 and 53 how many um, whole numbers are there so we will write in between this two only so what are the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so you can write the whole numbers between 32 and 50 
there are there are 20 whole numbers between 32 and 53 so you can write at the last therefore there are there are 20 whole numbers between between 32 and 53 so this is how we do it all right student so this is uh, the simple thing which we are doing i hope you have understanding so in our next class we will proceed with the next uh, next question till then stay safe and healthy thank you everyone